You can tell him I said it. It's real about a big change coming to Stone Mountain Park. The state's dedicated $11 million to build a truth-telling museum. One park official says we'll cover the monuments past. And new at four, Channel 2's Brian Mims reports from Stone Mountain, where some people are concerned about the use of state money for this project. Stone Mountain looms large not only on the landscape, but in the conscience of Georgia. With its carving of Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, and Jefferson Davis, it is the world's largest Confederate monument. It's a long and complicated story. Uh, it's not very pretty in some, some parts of it, but we think it's important to tell the whole story about the park. Bill Stevens is CEO of the Stone Mountain Memorial Association. He says the museum will tell the story of the monument's origins in 1915, which coincided with the resurgence of the Ku Klux Klan atop Stone Mountain. It, too, will tell the story of the state's purchase of the mountain in the late 50s and how then-Governor Marvin Griffin had the carving finished to defy integration. And he wanted to make a point, and, and uh, that's part of the story. It's not the whole story, but that's just part of it. I'm concerned about state dollars going towards this project to continue to perpetuate lost cause initiatives. Brian Morris is a member of the Stone Mountain Action Coalition. He says he supports a museum that tells the truth behind the memorial, but would rather see state money spent to remove the park's Confederate symbols. Change the roads from Robert E. Lee Boulevard to something that's more reflective of where Georgia is today. Warner Museums, based in Birmingham, will design the exhibit. We hope it'll be a Smithsonian-like exhibit. Park visitors we spoke with welcome the whole story. It's history, and you can't erase history. Or you shouldn't erase history, but you need to tell the story. Brian Mims, Channel 2 Action News. It is expected to take about two years to complete the museum at Memorial Hall. The Memorial Association says it will have ten sections, one of them called Monuments and Myth-Making.